Hi, this is Zach. In this video lecture, I'll be talking about aesthetic mappings, which are part of the GG2 plot 2 package. And this material is based, some of this material is based on chapter 3, data visualization of the book R for Data Science. So what is an aesthetic? Basically, an aesthetic is a visual property of objects in your plot. And it includes things such as the position, the size, the shape, the color, and other aesthetics that we might not cover in this video lecture. So first, you can change the color of your points based on the values of the data, like by using the color equals uh, option. Uh, ggplot is quite open. It accepts both US and UK spellings of the word color. So whether you use OR or OUR, you'll be fine. Uh, you can also plot, uh, assign colors based on numeric variables. So the previous plot shows you what it looks like if the variable that you give is a factor. But if you give a numeric variable or integer variable, you get a color bar instead of discrete points like this. Next, you can change the size of points based on their data values. And you get basically small to large points. You can also change the alpha, which basically means the transparency of the points. So you get some lighter points and some darker points. You can also change the shapes of the points based on the values. In, if you look carefully at the legend, you'll notice that only six shapes are shown. So where did the shape for the SUVs go? Hmm, that's pretty strange. Well, if you ran the code, and we'll do that later, you'll notice that there's a big warning message that appears after you run the code. Basically, what this warning message tells you is that normally ggplot will only plot show six different shapes. And the reason is that when you have more than six shapes, it's hard to tell between different shapes because they look kind of similar. So that basically ggplot has this, is kind of opinionated. It tells you that more than six shapes is not a good idea, and if you want to do that, you better go ahead by yourself, manually, by setting the shapes. Finally, you can also set the aesthetics manually instead of kind of automatically based on the data. And here's an example where we make the points blue in color. Perhaps blue is your favorite color, you know. Uh, so you basically specify the option color equals to blue, outside the aesthetic mapping. Now, take a look at these two code snippets. The one at the top is correct, and the one at the bottom is wrong. And, you know, can you tell the difference uh, between these two codes? Uh, let's take a quick look. So, uh, what you notice is that the one on the top, the color is an option to geom point. But in the code on the bottom, the color is an option to the aesthetic mapping. So that's the key difference between these two codes. Where the closing parenthesis is controls how R interprets the code. All right, that's great. Let's move to a quick coding demo before my computer shuts down due to lack of power. All right, so let's close this and start it again. Okay, so this is how you map. Uh, so notice that using the distinct function, you can tell that there's seven different classes of car. You can map the colors based on the class, like so. And in case of the cylinder column, there are four possible values of 
column of cylinder number of cylinders in the car if you plot it uh, if you plot the color using the cylinder column you see a color bar in the legend uh, and if you want to but it may make more sense to treat this column as a categorical var variable given that there's only a few numbers of cylinders so you can do that by changing sill to factor sill in the color in the color option like so sorry all right uh, here you can also change the size of the points based on the based on a column on, although it gives you a warning that this is not a good idea. Since size is ordered from smallest to biggest, it's an ordered aesthetic, but the variable is basically a, a the, the class variable is not really ordered. Here's how you control the transparency, the points. Again, you get a warning for the same reason as before. Here's how you draw the shapes, control the shapes of the points. And again, there's a warning explaining why one shape is missing. Finally, this is the correct code for making the points blue, where the color option is an option to geom points. And this code is wrong because the color option is, an, is part of the aesthetic mapping. So you color the points with each point having the value blue. And that's why the legend shows that the color, the value of the color variable is blue, but every all of the points are this kind of pinkish or reddish color. All right, that's all for this video lecture. See you next time. Bye.